Okay, Pisces, I almost said who we on. <laughs> Pisces, today we're going to be doing who's coming towards you next 72. Take the roles as they are. I could be saying man, but I'm talking about a woman or you could be a woman. So take the roles as they resonate, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started, though. I don't really have no big speech to give y'all. <laughs> somebody that's coming towards you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you whoever this is may have been like codependent on you at one point in time but you decided to like let go of control issues and release a situation with this person so you could be with like your true soulmate or the person that you're truly supposed to deal with or be with some of y'all could be searching for like your other half. Whoever this is, either they don't, this person may not want to be around you or either you don't want to be around this person. This person could feel like, whoever this is, shit, Pisces, y'all reading. This person could feel like you, uh. Some of y'all can feel like this person tricked you or did something to you that they got away with. You could be trying to reach out to this person, but you feel like they they at home. Some of y'all, you feel like this person is at home and you're trying to reach out to them. But it's like they don't... Hey, do you stop dealing with this person? Like You and this person could have been a team in the past. And it's like you stop working with this person you could have been codependent on this person or they could have been codependent on you but you just not for it no more you feel like it's something going on in the background that you really don't know about but some of y'all still feel like this relationship is not done or whoever this is that's codependent you feel like it's not over clarify calling in your soulmates somebody you've seen is like a rider before you never thought you would have to leave this person alone or you never thought that you would have to have like a way out an escape plan when it came to this person you felt comfortable with this person but now you feel like they bitter or they nagging or they bitter towards you or they always trying to be funny when they're around you some of y'all could be uh, blowing off steam with some type of hobby or every time you're around this person or every time y'all connect, you and this person could like argue and you feel like you have to try to just blow off some steam. Like I got I to gotta try to be cool because I'm going to get mad. <laughs> some of y'all feel like you have to calm yourself down when you're dealing with this person or talking to this person. Some of y'all, they could be funny. Let go of control issues. You feel like a situation, whoever this is that you're um that's coming towards you, you feel like a, a situation between you and this person got out of hand and it's a lot of trouble and chaos going on right now. And you you trying to figure out the best way to release this situation or let let it go because you like damn it's so much drama or trouble going on. 
you feel like this person did something to you like they not innocent when it comes to a situation but you didn't want to lose them though some of y'all could be older You're not trying to really take nothing from this person. It's like, I'm not going to take nothing from you. But you and this person not really, y'all not sleeping with each other no more. You don't feel like it's no more love in this situation. Somebody could have been crossing boundaries. This could be somebody that you were married to or in a relationship with. Some of y'all could still be connected to this person. You could be codependent on their energy. You felt like this person was down for you at one point in time. And you didn't want things to change. You like, damn, if everything changed, I probably won't be able to get over this. You felt like this person was your absolute soulmate. Like it was just meant. And now somebody is not talking. It's either this person not talking to you or you not talking to them. And it's like you not showing how you truly feel about the situation. You really do want to talk to this person. Because some of y'all, y'all not even dealing with no other options. But you don't want this person to think that you codependent on them. So you kind of like just stand back with whoever this is. You, some of y'all, you would have did anything for this person. Like, this person could have asked you, like, would you ride for me? Would you be there for me? And some of y'all, like, yeah, you know, you thought it was to the end of the earth with this person. Like, we gonna go long and steady. And it could have just ended, ended abruptly, like, quick. Between y'all, some of y'all could still be married to this person, but you could currently be separated. Others of y'all, you probably not married to this person, just in a relationship. This was something that was hard for you to let go of. All right. Yeah, you feel like a cycle is being completed. You wrapping it up with this person because you feel like it's too much of a burden and you carry this load long enough. Yeah, you didn't want to walk away from this person. That was not your intentions. Some of y'all, this could be an Aquarius, Leo. You really disappointed about how things going, but you feel like somebody is telling you the truth or either you telling somebody the truth. Somebody is deciding to be honest in a situation, but they also being distant and cold too. But... Somebody's really disappointed about the fact that this situation ain't going nowhere no more or disappointed in the fact that somebody's not taking action towards them no more. It's some things being hidden too and that's another reason why the relationship ended between you and this person. Somebody is not willing to take a leap of faith on this no more. You could still be wanting to offer this person something and it's like they rejecting it but they still messaging you though. This is your twin flame. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could have a, a kid with this person. One or two kids. I see two kids out here. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be messaging like a kid in the next 72 hours. Or a kid could be messaging you. I get communication coming in from somebody in the next 72 hours. You and this person could be, uh, y'all could have argued a lot. It could have been like a lot of slick shit going on in the connection. Some of y'all, this could be a Capricorn. You feel like you chained to this person. Why is that the devil there? 
some of y'all could be um whoever this is you wanted to work it out with this person you tried hard to like balance shit out with this person you tried to fix it you wanted your family with this person some of y'all got kids with this person and you wanted to keep things going with them but you feel like they immature this could be the mother of your kids And you know they tired or they feeling defeated or you could be the mother that's feeling tired and um, defeated. Some of y'all could be pregnant now. That's not everybody though. But you felt like you wanted this situation back, but it's just too much going on. It's like so many people got their hands on this situation or so many people know what, go, what went down between the two of y'all or what's going down between the two of y'all. And you like, it's just too much for me to deal with. Some of y'all, this could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. Okay. What do they want? Pisces. If some of y'all, this person want to let you know how they really feel. Some of y'all, this person could be like, they're happy with you. They fulfilled. They really do care about you. You made them happy, but now they feel like the relationship is not as intense as it once was, though. They don't feel like they messed it up. They looking at you as if you messed it up. They like, damn, and this is what I'm reading, y'all. I, I don't think, <laughs> I don't know if y'all a problem or not, so, you know, believe me when I say that, but this person feels like they didn't do anything wrong. They feel like they wanted you to learn some things. How you feel about this? Hmm. You want to be close to this person. All you want is for this person to be around you. Some of y'all feel like y'all made a mistake and you really want to talk to this person. Let's get some advice, y'all. advice for oh shit Pisces it's a lot of secrets that that came out Pisces or that will be coming out follow your intuition when it comes to certain situations in your life some of y'all are able to create miracles for yourself but you have to go through this storm first and get through it I know that sound like some bullshit. It sound like hell. But it's a reason for you going through what you're going through now. It's a reason. Some of y'all, um, you're not really showing who you truly are. You're not showing your true self. It's time for y'all to be honest. Some of y'all could have miracles and you can create miracles in your life. You just got to get going. You got to try. You got to try. Yeah, some of y'all are uninspired right now. You don't have no desire to do anything. It's like if your relationship is off, your whole life is off track. But you can manifest anything that you want. All you got to do is put the work in. So remember that. Just put the work in and you're going to get whatever it is that you're trying to snap your fingers and get. But that's what I got for y'all, Pisces. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'ma head the fuck out. Bye, y'all.